Ibrahim. Uh, let's continue to the modeling of steel shed in Tekla structure. So uh, in previous uh, tutorial, I have modeled this column. This column I will uh, move uh, 125 millimeter so that in portion of column there will be brick wall with uh, having width of 125 millimeter. So in the left side, we will uh, keep the spacing between the grid and the end of the column 125 millimeter. So this is 300 millimeter. We will move it. Uh, select move from here. Pick this point, but not don't click. Just write the uh, distance 125 millimeter. Okay. Uh, so it, it is moved 125 meter millimeter but we need this side 125 millimeter so uh, 300 millimeter minus 125 it will come 175 so more 50 millimeter we I have to move move from here to here just type the distance okay so now 125 millimeter uh, gap we have found from the end of the column to grid. So column position is okay now. Now we will uh, model this uh, connection plate on top of this column. So just uh, go to steel beam. From this point to this point so this is coming one previous section uh, I section I will convert it to plate you can uh, write here PL with the thickness PL uh, thickness 12 millimeter modify okay we will check this is available or not this is the ZL I beam steel rectangular section this is the PL yes this is here apply okay ah. okay we will write here 300 into 12 millimeter thickness modify okay now we will see in the 3d view how it is coming window 3d view here view navigate rotate with mouse you can click here so that you can rotate this portion so this plate we will change its, its property to mesh in the top of the column so position rotation front modify yes perfect so and this one is not uh, at the top so again we will change position middle or behind front yes so this is the plate now go to the window grid view we will extend this uh, plate for uh, moment joint connection moment connection 70 millimeter i will extend so click on this position offset 70 and offset 70 millimeter this is minus yes okay so this is our connection plate on the top of the steel column 
I will copy this one to make another plate. On top of this, we will model the tapered beam. These two plate will be connected with the bolts later. So go to the edit, copy this portion to this. Okay, press here. See now finished. So we have modeled the connection to plates with the tapered column and tapered beam. Now next step we will model the tapered beam.